this is going to seem like a promotional video, and I suppose in some ways it is. This is the set of decals that I design and sell at www.fusing.shop. They are water slide decals that fire into a beautiful black. I recently had them tested and they have tested to be completely food safe. And so I wanted to see how I could use these beyond the ornaments and sun catchers that I've made before. So the following video will show that. And if you watch to the end of the video, I have a special promo code for my YouTube subscribers for a discount. Thanks. I bought this um, mold. It's a stand-up paperweight from Create a Paradise LF227, and it's a casting mold. So I'm going to put some white glass in here, I think white as a background, and I'm going to put some clear. Um, I got to think through it a little bit, but I think I'm going to do some white and clear and then some colors or maybe just a whole bunch of colors. That's actually a better idea. I think I'm going to do a bunch of colors just using scrap. And then I'm going to cast and fire this piece. And then I'm going to uh, apply a decal and fire that and it'll be a stand up uh, kind of decorative piece. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so I just chopped up some clear glass uh, for the top. Actually, it was all tech to scrap, but underneath there are some transparent colors, just uh, kind of other rainbow, reds, blues, orange, yellow, um, and green and purple pink ish and then i just filled it with um kind of scrap tecta i didn't weigh it i don't really know how much i just kind of threw it in and eyeballed it so we'll see how that goes okay so i pulled this piece out and um <laughs> i clearly did not use enough glass so uh and there are probably fill weight instructions on this uh but it ends up being real thin it does not stand on its own so i'm gonna have to put it back in uh, but it, I mean, the concept of this mold is super cool. So I'm actually going to use this to my advantage and, um, chop this up and put it in here and add some more color. I want yellow in there, uh, maybe a little bit brighter pink or purple. So I'm going to chop it up, put it in there, add a whole bunch more glass and fire it again. And I'll show you what that looks like when it comes out. I have filled this thing up now. I have no confidence that there's enough glass in here. I, uh, we'll see, but uh, actually I, I feel fairly confident that there's enough glass in here. Uh, that big piece uh, was a little bit tough to chop up, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I got it broken up and I've got it in here. As you saw, I was laying it on its uh, on its edge. So now there, because there was a thick layer of clear on top of that, there's gonna be some streaks of clear, but I actually think that'll look pretty cool. So we'll see how this melts down. It'll go in for a full fuse and we'll show it to you when it comes out. Okay, I am so thrilled with how this turned out. So this came right out of that mold, super easy. Now it's nice and thick, has really good uh, standing. Sorry, I don't think you can see that. Let me change the angle here. And um, so I love it. I'm thrilled with it. It looks awesome as it is. I love when bubbles get trapped. I'm gonna throw this in here. Um, I love when bubbles get trapped and because uh, that really speaks glass to me. I think this could be cool as kind of an underwater piece, like if I tack fused uh, some fish to the front, but that was not the point of this. The point was to use a decal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. So I've got this all uh, cleaned up on the front, get it cleaned up on the back. Meanwhile, my decal here is soaking. So uh, as you know, I sell decals at www.fusing.shop. These are three and a half inch decals. They're modeled after stained glass windows and uh, they're super easy to apply. Now it looks yellow, but that's just the flux, the membrane that kind of holds the inks on there, the enamels. And uh, once you fire this, uh, it will not hold that uh, color anymore. It'll be perfectly clear and the black will be bright, shiny black. And so what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm fully cleaned up on my piece 
This has been soaking in here for however long I've been talking, 30 seconds or so, and it's a water slide decal, which means you slide it off of the paper onto your piece. So you can see how it starts to slide there. So you just kind of put it about where you want it, hold it down on one end, oops, slide it off of the paper, and then, then arrange it. So I'm trying to get it so that my design is perfectly centered. And in this case, there is a pattern to this that I want to follow as well. So I wanna make sure that it's relatively horizontal and vertical uh, centered in there. That looks, that looks pretty good. So then you also want to make sure, and sometimes you just tap, tap your finger in water, that you've got all the air bubbles out. It's really critical that you don't have any air bubbles under here because air bubbles will prohibit the ink from attaching to the glass when it's fired. So you just want to kind of make sure that you get any wrinkles and air bubbles out. This didn't have too many. Sometimes they can be hard to see uh, in this state. And so um, once you let it dry, take another look at it. And if it looks like you've got a bubble or something, just take a little you know, push pin or a little needle pop a tiny hole and kind of push the air out and get it to lay back down flat on the glass. And that's all you need to do to make sure that you get a nice pattern on your piece. So as you can see, I've got a fair amount of play here uh, as it moves around to make sure that I've got all the bubbles out, all the wrinkles out, get it centered back where I want it. Then I'm gonna let it dry for, I don't know, half an hour or so. It probably doesn't take much more than that and uh, I'll come back and check it out. Uh, this might create a little bit of slime on my glass and I certainly don't want that to, to fire into the glass. So I'll very carefully, uh, you know, even with just uh, maybe a Q-tip or something, kind of wipe around that to make sure that it's uh, nice and clean uh, before it goes into the kiln. And then you fire this decal at 1200 degrees for 30 minutes and you get a nice, bright, uh, black, shiny, glossy, uh, finish to your decal. If you fire it less than that, you'll get a matte finish, which is really cool as well, but I want the I want the shiny effect here. So 1200 degrees at 30 minutes, I'm worried that I'm gonna start to lose the shape on this. I mean, that's kind of a fire polish, you know, temperature, and I'm, I'm worried that the glass might start to move. And so I will put this back into the mold. I'll just carefully set it right back into the mold when I fire it so that I don't get any movement on my glass and it keeps its shape and I get that decal fired on there. So I'm gonna let this dry, I'll check it out, I'll put it back in the kiln and fire it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the kiln. Now this one I fired at 1200 degrees. I only held it for 10 minutes because I had something that I was slumping, but the decal turned out great. Uh, I tried really hard to get a good photo of this, so my lighting's a little messed up. I tried with a black background, I tried with a lighter background, but you get the point. I think it really pops. I think the colors are fun, and I'm really happy with this project. If you're interested in the decals, please go to fusing.shop, www.fusing.shop, and through the end of September, you'll get 10% off when you use the code YouTube10. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.